Hello everyone and welcome to a new video of Universe Sandbox 2. Last time we created a really big solar system, but really, really big. Um, <laughs> which was insanely fun though. And uh, now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to create a small solar system. But the difference here is I'm not just gonna create that small solar system and say like, there's a sun, two planets, that's it, c'est fini. That's, uh, that's our solar system, that's our video. No, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna spice it up a bit because I want to create a twin system. And what that means is I want to create two systems who are in perfect harmony <laughs> with each other. Of course, this can fail, but even if it fails, I think then it was nice to try and it wasn't an experiment. But I will do my best and I will see if we can create a small twin system and see what happens. So let's dive into it and first, of course, changing the backgrounds. Um, let's see, yes, let's take space brown. And here we go. We're gonna add, is it on play? Yes, we, we can put it on play. One hour is fine. Let's put it in one hour, please, a bit slower. Yep. So we're going to take suns and I don't want big suns because for example, Na uh, Rigel here, um, 21 times the mass of our sun is way too big. Let's just see. This is it. This is the big Rigel. No, we want smaller ones like this one, Proxima Centauri. We're gonna place him there. Beautiful, beautiful small sun, which has the mass of 129 times Jupiter which is really small compared to other suns in the galaxy, in the universe, um, but yet. And it fits the surroundings, <laughs> really fits the surroundings. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add a random rocky planet. And as you can see here, whoa, look at the, wow, <laughs> look at that sun. Look at the flames, solar flares. Okay, as you can see with the new update, when you move the planet from left to right, before you even place it, you can see if it's really too close. For example, if I put it here, you see that it's burning, it's burning, glowing hot. And of course, with the new update that's installed, it will probably be as well destroyed in several pieces because of the forces there. So we are going to go further away. This is also a guess because it's still close, I guess, but uh, here we go. Yep, it's really close. Where is it even? Oh, there it is. <laughs> really close till I think it will be glowing soon. I hope not because this could be Mercury, for example. Really, let's see. The temperature now is 288, which is quite okay. We have planets that close to suns even in our solar system. So there you go, the first planet is there. Now I want, let's say a random giant, which we will put a bit further away, which is, oh, beautiful. <laughs> Blue, orange, brown, white, beige, I think. Um, so yeah, here we have 4.4 times the Earth, the mass of the Earth, which is not, a, not much, because if you see that Jupiter, this looks like a Jupiter, but, uh, it's not. Um, and yes, it's minus 36 degrees. So it's in, a, yeah, it's in a good spot from the sun. Look at this, this is good. Okay, so we have a system now with two planets and what we're going to do now is we are going to take the same sun and we are going to place it like, let's say here. I have no idea that this will work. We first need to see our orbit though. Okay, twin system. For now, I think it works. But of course, at some point, those two suns will get closer to each other, which might screw up everything we've built. So, Proxima Centauri, uh, let's call you something different now. Osiris. So we know the difference between Proxima and Osiris. Um, and now we're gonna give Osiris some children, <laughs> some little planets. And let's see what happens there. So yeah, let's say our rocky planet again. Let's see the glow with there, with 122 degrees, which is doable. 
beautiful. Looks a bit like Mercury. And let's take an exoplanet and put that one there. 15 degrees, which is beautiful. That position is beautiful. Wow, look at this blue-green effect. This might change, of course, because it's really close. Yet, it is in a little space. Because, of course, this sun is not our sun. That's a difference. Um, but it looks beautiful. Really love this. It's a nice feature in this game. To just have random planets. Let them make a random planet. There you go. Let them put a random planet there. Okay, so now we have Osiris. We have Proxima Centauri. We have our twin system. But, of course, we need to do more things. We need to see if we can enhance our experience here and what we're going to do with that is let's first give our let's see our beautiful Kepler there oh uh, let's call this Abydos which is a Stargate reference for those who uh, have seen the series or the movie I believe it's been a while I've seen the movie oh what is happening with the orbit there it's just passing the orbit. Never mind, okay. We're gonna give Abydos a moon. Whoa, I'm not sure that this is a moon. Yeah, it's really easy to um, for Abydos to lose the moon towards the sun, to the sun. Let's try it. Hopefully we'll not destroy Abydos. Is this a steady orbit? Please go. Yes, further. Wonderful. We have it. Nice. Oh, look at this. So now it's getting light from two sides. Which means you have this belt on the planet. Oh, oh, which is night. But of course, this is changing. Some now have double double suns and these have no suns whoa so now when you're on this planet you can actually see two suns where is the second sun actually move away the orbits there it is strange oh yeah okay you can probably see two suns now and the moon beautiful but this is difficult place to live i guess i have no idea well nice we place the moon on abydos in the osiris system let's see how you are doing you are still doing fine with 122 this is a really good and small steady system which is awesome now we're going to proxima centauri again we'll check them quickly and nia and nae or whatever how you pronounce it um is still doing fine as well and then we have Aramid. Yep, the Jupiter-like planet. Which we can give a moon to. Let's try. And now this one fails. Could be the case. But then that's the case. <laughs> so Titan is 4.4 times the Earth. I have to watch out. Oh no, wait. That's Aramid. Titan is... Let's see... Oh, moon, of course. What was the thing? Okay. So, let's see. Oh, there is the orbit. Let's put Titan here. Whoa. That's one orange ball. With some shadow effect here. This is... Well, this is the side of our sun. But I guess it gets light from the other one there weak but yep it is but i do not get this and this planet has it as well strange effect this this twin system brings us okay oh it's a really different orbit though let's see if this is healthy It's really too close. I'm afraid that this is too close. Oh, oh. Exciting. No. We're safe. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. We're good. We're good. Wonderful. Now let's see. Let's take. Oh, let's take Proxima Centauri and let's see if we can create an asteroid belt. But I have to see. I have no idea where we can uh, actually see the distance. It could be here somewhere, but I'm not gonna. Orbital distance. Period. No, <laughs> not distance. Period. One point. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. We're gonna test it. Let's select Proxima Centauri. Let's add. Oh no, that's a power. It's a power. Yep. Um... No, it's been a while. Sorry about that. So we can explore, we can pulse, material. That is not it. It is here. Rings, there you go. Let's see if we can. Mm, Saturn rings. I thought we were able to choose. Of course, I thought we were able to choose where exactly, I mean, how far away from the sun we could place it, and I seem to have lost that, yeah, the, the, um, that choice. Maybe that's because of the update, or me just being silly and forgetting about it. Okay, then we give this planet. Ooh, ooh, no, no. It's not working. Because of the gravity of the sun, it is not possible for this planet to keep the rocks. Look at this, all the rocks, all the small ones are now rotating around the planet, as, uh, around the sun as well. What happened here? Titan! Titan is not a moon anymore of Eremit. Titan is a no planet on its own. Damn you, Titan. Okay, that failed. Let's see there if we can still... Yeah, Abydos still has our wonderful moon and our wonderful colors as well. Okay, twin system. Now, as a finisher for this video, to end this video, uh, I want to see if we can take this twin system and let it be another twin system with another sun. And this will be the tricky part, because we need a more powerful sun, I believe. So we had this one, 129 times Jupiter. Why don't we just do this? We do this, no wait, like this. And we increase it to 300. There you go. 300 times Jupiter. Proxima Alpha. Yep. Who is the dominant one? And now we'll see if we can go with this. Uh oh. No, no, no. Is this the end of our twin system? I believe so. Proxima Alpha is getting closer. No? It's not getting. What is this? have rocks and I believe those rocks were and I'm, and I don't see the rocks what's happening <laughs> okay let's zoom out again before we can't okay I've I'm completely lost let's focus on the Sun there you go so Proxima Alpha is not strong enough to keep this system so let's risk it 600 times Jupiter. There we go. We have an orbit again. No, no, no. Don't squeeze them. Don't give them a hug that they won't survive. Oh dear. Proxima Alpha. No. Damn you, Proxima Alpha. Why are you leaving us? Oh no, that is really... But 
I have to watch out that... Oh my god, yeah. Look at this. Titan has such a dangerous orbit that at one time... In the future, let's focus on this one, it's easier to see. So Titan is having an own orbit around Proxima Centauri. And it goes through the orbit of Aramid. Aramid. Which... Uh, eventually has a chance and will happen of course to collide well, that was a close one a really close one there we can just watch and eventually have the collision i'm pretty sure oh okay oh they're getting close the twin system nothing is happening luckily which is awesome okay and centauri there it is around somewhere. But I am afraid it will not stay there. Let's see if we can increase the days to one month. But one month a second. It's beautiful, look at this. It works! The twin system works, except the bigger one is having its doubts like i don't know i don't know i want to involve me myself with these guys anyway i'm i'm not gonna risk it now because i want one video where i do not blow up stuff <laughs> and this is this is a video i just know it um so yeah there you go. oh what did you guys see so i started titan as a moon of Eremit in the Proxima Centauri system, Titan began its own orbit and Titan jumped towards Osiris. Oh, wait, wait. Now we need to slow down, of course. We need to see this. Let's say one hour. So there it is, Titan. Titan now is an orbit around the other sun. This is one nice change at the end of the video. I really like that. <laughs> awesome. I never intended that, but that is just awesome. Um, so Titan, of course, it's not a good orbit. Um, it can it can jump back, I guess. It can jump back to Proxima Centauri. Uh, or it can be destroyed when it gets too close to the sun, Osiris. Which I doubt. Uh, but also it can... Well, crash with Abydos or with the moon. What are you doing there? Abydos has lost its moon as well. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, the moon thing failed, but the twin system succeeded. That's what I believe. And where's the other sun? There is Proxima Alpha, which says, I'm out of here. Okay, well, Alpha, you have fun now. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video uh, about the twin system. And maybe I can do something more with this in the future, but I think it's now good to end the video here because this succeeded and like I said, I didn't blow up anything. So that is the important thing. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care.